What's up folks, Southern Comic Geek coming to you with an unboxing video. An unboxing video that I know is surprising, right? From CGC that was a long time in the making. So if you want to see the grades that I got, hear the horror or the great stories about uh, the grades that I received, stay tuned for the video. And before I get into all of this comic book goodness, go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell notification for when videos like this drop. You will be one of the first people to know and can make the conscious decision as to whether or not to watch it now or later. As long as you watch it, we appreciate you. And so as a sign of my appreciation, how about let's save some money? First off, if you are in need of supplies, whether it be Mylars, Polybags, Boxes for your comics, supplies for your record collections and coin collections, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Visit bcwsupplies.com. Use the coupon code SCG and save yourself 10% on your order. And at the timing of this video of June the 12th until June the 18th of 2023, you will actually save 20% on your order. So get over there and check that out. Also, if you're like me and you like great coffee to go with your great comics, visit comicsoncoffee.com and use the coupon code SCG to save yourself 15% on your order. Both of those have links in the description below. Now, uh, I sent off a magazine order to CGC back in December of last year. So if you're keeping track of time from the previous mention uh, dates that I uh, had uh, at the time of this video, that's six months of the making. Now, to be fair, there were some supply chain issues. Uh, that's really not as much I want to give them credit for. But the fact that they were actually switching out the old magazine um, uh, slabs for the new ones, which are much better, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> maybe as good as CBCS's magazine slabs. I'm not sure. Let me a comment below if you've seen both of them, but uh, definitely an improvement from their latter ones. So that delayed mine a little bit. Now, I did not pay for the super fast service. I forget what they call it now, but I did pay for the next to the fastest service. So uh, obviously those dates came and went. And still, hey, they're working on it, they're working on it, they're working on it. Hey, I'll get somebody to uh, try to lay hands on your deal. Still working on it, working on it, working on it. Finally, I got a notification that, boom, things uh, have happened and your books are going out in the mail. I had originally sent these books to the comic chiropractor. At the same time, I submitted my Incredible Hulk number two. Uh, check out the previously played videos. Uh, to see the unboxing on that one. Uh, and so he had pressed them and sent them up. And uh, so this has been quite a, quite a while uh, in, in the making. So one of the good sides about uh, waiting a while, I was able to get the new uh, slabs and to CGC's credit, they did give me a credit. So uh, I have quite a bit of credit with them. So if I wanna continue to submit some books, whether magazines or otherwise, um, I shouldn't have to, uh, I should, I, I have a good enough credit probably for our whole order, uh, between that and other issues that I've had. So let's get into the books, shall we? And if you haven't already done so, smash that like button at this moment. Maybe it'll help the grades. I'm waiting. Okay. Assuming you've done it. Now, uh, these, uh, three of these are foreign Hulk 181s. Uh, and then uh, we have another one I'll show you uh, in a bit. But uh, I like my Hulk 181, so I've gotten the uh, original foreign editions of these. Obviously, they've got newer ones like the Russian. Some of those I have, uh, more recent ones, but uh, in particular, the older ones, because if you're familiar with the foreign market, they're quite different, at least uh, used to be quite different than uh, ours in that 
Uh, you know, you got to think about what's going on in their country at the time uh, that these books came out. Uh, they don't have a board and bag culture like we do here in the United States. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of different things that you it's really hard to be a great snob. I'm not a great snob, but uh, generally, but uh, it's hard to be a great snob when it comes to foreigns. Having said that, you can look up on some deals. Now, if you were interested in foreign comic collecting, I have done previous videos uh, on my channel uh, talking with various foreign comic collectors that know a lot more about the subject than I do, uh, and you can go check those out. So <clears throat> this first one is a uh, Incredible Hulk 181 from Mundy Comics, La Masa Volume 3, Number 40. This is the Spanish edition. And it has uh, Hulk 181 and 182 in it. It does have the 181 cover. And um, it's kind of a smaller, uh, as you can see uh, right here, but still needs the magazine slab. And it came back a 3-0 white pager. Uh, they had a little marker on the front there. There was some fading here on the back. Uh, this is about where I felt like that book would land uh, with a good clean and press done by the comic chiropractor. Uh, I figured that it would land about here. Uh, white pages is a definitely, if that's your thing, uh, definitely an added bonus um, that the uh, that came back uh, like. And so uh, pretty happy with that one. Now, uh, this one here is The Mighty World of Marvel from 1976. So you have one from 79, one from 76. So we're getting closer. Uh, that's the other thing with foreigns. Uh, usually there is a um, gap in the United States release as opposed to the foreign release. Uh, and it, you know, refers to sometimes they refer to them as reprints, but they're not necessarily reprints if they're the first time that they've been uh, printed in that country. Right. So this is the Mighty World of Marvel. This is from the United Kingdom. And the uh, thing about this particular cover is that if you notice that this is actually a different face than what you're accustomed to seeing on the traditional Hulk 181, because this one actually uses the face that Herb Trimpey uh, drew, as opposed to the John Romita face, which was a lot less uh, scary, if you will. So uh, they... Uh, they reuse that one. So that's what makes this one uh, for a Hulk 181 collector. If you're collecting sets, uh, this is one that you want to pick up just for that reason alone. And this one came back a 6-0 uh, off-white to white pager. And this is about where I felt like this one would end up as well. Um, felt like it was a, a mid-grader. And uh, so it coming back a 6-0. Um, well, but it, it uh, presents really well. Uh, and so one of the other things about uh, foreign comics are the uh, various <laughs> Frosties. You know, we can get Tony the Tiger here in the United States, but sometimes some of their um, advertisements are more local in nature. And so it's really fun to flip through there um, and see uh, that. So we are actually, since there are only a total of four uh, books, spoiler alert, that I'll be showing today, I actually um, put them up uh, leading up. So we're, we're uh, crescent, uh, going upward uh, in uh, excitement level. So you're going to catch it here. All right. Now, uh, one of the other things about foreigns are that sometimes they reimagine the image, not simply a reprinting uh, of the uh, same old image. Sometimes they will uh Reimagine the image, and this one is definitely that. This is a La Masa Volume 2, number 4, from December of 1975, and so very close to uh, the original release. And uh, this is a reimagining. As you can see, Wolverine's claws uh, are more and more like they come straight out of his wrists, and then... Uh, Wendigo, uh, Wolverine's wearing shorts and a white outfit. Wendigo is wearing brown. Uh, so these make these as interesting as well. And this one, the biggest thing with this one, you know, is what I'm about to show you. Boom! 7.5 white pager 
Now I bought this from Spain. So it traveled all the way from Spain. I bought it off of uh, Spain, eBay, Spain, uh, which you can do. You can change the country of which you're looking at eBay. Uh, so it was over there. It was able to pick that up and it took a while, but eventually landed here in the United States. And uh, I felt like it was a really good grade um, when I got it. Looking at the CGC boards, uh, I felt like that I could have one of the highest uh, graded ones on the census. Uh, there's not an awful lot of them, uh, so uh, there is some rarity uh, involved there. Uh, some of that could come from uh, not a lot of people actually grading the uh, foreign, because there are foreign collectors that would prefer, just like regular comics, prefer not to uh, grade them, but for the aforementioned reason, uh, being able to flip through them, see the neat ads and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, and I don't grade all of mine, just like I don't grade all of my regular American edition comics either. Uh, just certain ones that I want to uh, present well, hold value, older, rare, that type of thing. And so this is actually the highest rated book of this on the census is seven five. I believe the next highest rated is a six five or seven oh. Uh, so uh, definitely very stoked to have gotten this again. I, I know it came in uh, looking really well, but uh, that was in due, I believe, in part to the comic chiropractor and his working on that particular book. Now, if you're keeping track, that's three books. I got one left to go. You go from just a couple of uh, neat uh, pickups, neat grades, to having the highest one on the census. So you ask yourself, how in the world can you top that? Well, I'm fixing to show you. Now, this particular book I've had for quite some time. I actually bought it from a community member that ended up ripping a whole bunch of other people off by not sending them their books. Fortunately for me, I never had that experience with him. Uh, he sent me all of the books and like this one right here. Uh, this one right here, which is a TMNT number three, um, he uh, put up on auction. And fortunately enough for me, there was not any more action other than myself bidding on it. So I was able to win it for his uh, starting bid, which I felt was pretty fair. Uh, especially considering that in the inside of this book is signed by Bo Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman. Now, Kevin Eastman is pretty prolific in his signatures. He still is hitting the con scene. Peter Laird, not so much. So when you can find one that's signed by both of them, you know that it has been a while back. Also, it's on the interior of the cover. So it's very, uh, that dates it even more so further back because that's old school signing, right? You know, you didn't want to cover up the art on the cover. So much so that T, uh, that CGC recognizes and doesn't give it a green label when it happens because they know it such, was such a common practice. They still give it a blue label and just denote. And saying somebody wrote on the book, they denote the names and how they're and where they're written as opposed to, like I said, just somebody wrote on the book. Uh, so um, I've been kind of putting off sending this off because, again, the names are on the inside of the book. But it was such a good, clean, crisp copy. I'm like, man, I really feel like I have a good shot at a high grade on this. Um, and so sent it in with the other books to the comic book chiropractor and came back. Boom! A 98 white pager. That's right, folks. A 98 white pager to this great wraparound cover. First appearance of the turtle van, uh, I believe. Uh, and like I said, it denotes it up here uh, on this that uh, this Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird written on the interior cover with pen. So even though it was uh, signed in pen, I guess they didn't really sign real hard. Uh, it came back a 98 white pager. So definitely a dope book. And um, it, it's it's funny. Some books carry with it uh, the story behind uh, getting the artwork or the book itself is as fun to me as the, the book. And the obviously value in that book with it being a 9-8 and signed both, both of the creators. So uh, that book, having come from where it did uh, and actually getting to me, getting to me, um, was uh, 
definitely a story in of itself. So there you have it, folks. I took a, it took a long time by CGC, but they came in the new cases. They gave me credit for my hassle, and they came back with some great grades. What do you think about these books, the grades, and the magazine slabs by CGC? Leave me some comments in uh, the uh, thing below. And until next time, keep reading, keep collecting. Adios.